Services Institute of Medical Sciences, Lahore. Today we have two sessions planned for transfusion for the services available and the practices prevalent in different parts of the country. While some centers are providing state-of-art facilities, others are making small but steady steps towards improvement. PAP and PSH have provided us a platform where all of them can meet, share, and learn from their experiences and strive towards providing safe blood for all. We are honored to have two very senior and seasoned hematologists and transfusion medicine experts for chair and co-chair. Our chairperson, Brigadier Retired Nuzat Salamat, has served in Armed Forces Hospital all over the country for 32 years. She's also worked as Commandant AFIP. Her com commitment to the field did not end with her retirement. She is now associated with Rafai University and has also established Fee First Solutions, which has become the country's first private blood center to be registered in A plus category. Co-chair Brigadier Retired Asad Abbasi graduated from AMC in 1989. He has served as certain um, key positions like HD Hematology, Deputy Commandant, and Commandant AFIP. In recognition of his services, he was awarded Sitar M. Niraz Military. Thank you, sir and madam, for joining us for this session. Now, beginning with our first presentation, we have Dr. Hina Was from Services Hospital. She is working there as a blood transfusion officer, and she'll be presenting transfusion services challenges and the way forward. Assalamu alaikum, distinguished guests. I'm Dr. Hina Ghaz, Blood Transfusion Officer at Services Hospital Lahore. We'll start this session with a discussion of transfusion services, progress, challenges, and way forward. As we all know that blood transfusion services play a pivotal role in modern healthcare, ensuring the timely, stable, and safe delivery of blood and blood products to patients in need. Ensuring a robust and efficient blood transfusion system, it requires a collaboration between healthcare institutions, policymakers, and community to address challenges and continually improve service delivery. These services involve meticulous donor screening, blood typing, and compatibility testing to ensure the safety and efficacy of transfusion. Talking about District Blood Unit Services Hospital Lahore, Services Hospital is nearly 1,200 bedded hospital. It is one of the main hospitals located in the heart of Lahore. Approximately 3,500 to 4,000 donors per month donate their blood in Blood Bank Services Hospital Lahore, and the number is increasing day by day as the demand is increasing. In the pursuit of ensuring the safety of transfusion, our blood bank employs cutting edge technology, specifically chemiluminescence for meticulous screening of donated blood. Our blood bank takes pride in offering a critical service known as component preparation, a process that goes beyond traditional whole blood transfusion. And also at the forefront of innovation, Blood Bank Services Hospital Lahore offers state-of-the-art patient apheresis facility. We all know that life, uh, blood transfusion is a life-saving process, but if we don't do it professionally and with responsibility, it could be a life-threatening process too. So blood banking is to make sure that donated blood or blood products are safe before they are used in blood transfusion and other medical procedures. Blood banking includes typing of the blood for transfusion and testing for infectious diseases. This is our blood bank algorithm, the way we work in services hospital blood bank. We got the request for blood or blood products, then we assess the donor, the kid's history, and we select the donor accordingly. Then we perform blood grouping of donor and patient and screening for transfusion transmitted infections, phlebotomy of blood, and then preparation of required product. Also, we perform compatibility tests, then we issue the blood or blood product, and also storage and inventory management. Almost a year back, we were not in the same position as we are now. So we decided to progress and to take initiative, but it was a long way to go. But luckily, our administration was very kind to us to help in uh, the way of progress. This is self-explanatory picture. Nearly a year back, this is the outlook of uh, Blood Bank Services Hospital Lahore that you can see in any of the public sector, the condition of the building, the condition of the equipment, it is all self-explanatory how compact the place is. 
but we're starting our progress. And as we all know, that the trouble with opportunity is that it comes disguised as hard work. So we buckled up and we started our work a year back. What we did, we conducted um, awareness campaigns and um, we, conduct, uh, we um, enthusiast the um, donors also. With the help of our administration, the head administration and community, they were very kind to be there with us. But the unfortunate thing was that the administration at Services Hospital was changing like anything. Almost after every two to three months, the administration was changing. So that was the difficulty that we were facing at that time. But fortunate enough, every time we got the uh, administration change, they were kind enough to help us. And we keep on involving them in our progress. What else we did? We um, trained our staff uh, technically. We trained them in uh, waste management area, even in firefighting. And also, we came in liaison with other departments that was not uh, going on before, with the help of our pathology department. This was a visit of Healthcare Commission, and Healthcare Commission trained the blood transfusion officers of Services Hospital Lahore, according to MSDS indicators. This was the floor plan. The building was not much changed as it was a revamping plan of emergency uh, uh, blood bank services hospital. So we just did a little bit change inside the same compound that we were working in. And with the help of uh, administration, pathology department, and Institute of Blood Transfusion Services, the revamping uh, came into progress. And what in the end we get? This is the current picture of Blood Bank Services Hospital Lahore with our new MS. As I've told you, that the administration was changing. The apheresis facility, these are the, um, the table shows the number of cases that we did in January. 21 cases were done, 26 in February, 2 in March, 4 in April, and so on till now. And all of these cases were being done free of cost to the normal public. Also, another milestone that we achieved is changing the screening from ICT to chemiluminescence assay. As we all know that this technique is ultra sensitive and can detect small amount of biological molecules. And it improved the accuracy and efficacy to the screen donor. This table shows the data of uh, the number of uh, hepatitis B and C screening that we done and the reactive cases that we found. And this table shows the HIV and TB screening of all the cases from January till October that we did in this year. This is the current picture of Services Hospital, our motivated staff, and our staff even feel good working in a better setup. You can very well appreciate the well illuminated building, the condition of the building, and the equipments also. The space remains although the same. It is the same compact donor area, but at least the outlook is changed. And this was the visit of Healthcare Commission after the revamping program, and they give 100% uh, to all the red indicators of MSDS. But still, we all know that there's always a room for improvement. We are still way behind, and we are still facing a lot of challenges. Number one is a shortage of appropriate technical staff that we are facing at our blood bank. Another is frequent change in administration. And one of the major challenges that we are facing is filtrage of blood and its product that we face in every public sector. And this is because of the lack of accountability. Another uh, challenge we are facing is deficiency of computerized system for proper record keeping and lack of communication between physician and blood bank. Although we worked on um, this, we activated our hospital transfusion committee, but still we need to work on it even more. And of course, the lack of space and logistics, as most of the blood banks, they have been given a corner of the hospital and they're not purpose-made uh, building. So we um, are lacking in this also. What is the way forward? What we need to do more is to recruit the technical staff and also we need to get more space for blood bank as we are incorporating 
more advanced technologies, so we are facing, the, uh, we are facing this problem. In technology integration, to, in, uh, to implement uh, the technology, the modern technology, uh, for proper record keeping of uh, blood and inventory management. And also public awareness campaigns should be uh, conducted more often and continuing feedback loop must be there for both donor and recipient because they are getting what we are providing uh, them the services. So it is important to keep them in the feedback loop. Data analytics for demand and prediction must be hired and training and certification of staff, uh, blood transfusion officers, they, uh, they should be going through the refresher programs and training sessions. And emergency preparedness, um, here we are lacking a lot as we are not much prepared for any disaster or emergency condition. Also the research and innovation and community engagement are the topics which we should cover more. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Hena. Next we have Dr. Imran Shahid. He's working as a blood transfusion officer in Regional Blood Center, Mayo Hospital Hall. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am Dr. Imran Shahid, student of MPhil Hematology from University of Health Sciences and currently working as a blood transfusion officer in Mayo Hospital, Lahore. The Mayo Hospital is the oldest and the largest hospital of the country which is serving the humanity since 1871. It had the bed capacity of 300 bed in 1947 but now it is extended up to 2400 beds. Approximately 4,000 to 5,000 donors per month donate their blood in the Mu Hospital Lahore. Blood transfusion services are a critical component for modern healthcare systems, which provides a critical role in saving lives and improving patient outcomes. The services provided in Mu Hospital Lahore includes the donor selection, testing, which includes blood grouping, screening, and cross matching, and then the blood collection, and then the processing of blood into the components and storage and inventory management, and finally the distribution of blood components. The primary goal is to ensure a safe and adequate supply of blood for the patients who require transfusion for surgery, trauma, medical conditions, or other health-related problems. Now talking about the progress, there has been advancements in the screening of transmissible, uh, transfusion transmissible infections by CLIA technique. Previously, we were screening through ICT kits, and now uh, hepatitis B, C, HIV, and syphilis are screened by CLIA method, and uh, the malaria is screened by ICT kit method. Uh, this is the annual data of the donors screened in the past few years. Uh, as the CLIA machine was installed in 2021, uh, CLIA machine was installed in 2021 in August, and uh, the donors from emergency blood bank were also screened in the main blood bank of the Mayo Hospital Lahore. That is why uh, the number of screening of donors got increased. And secondly, we have noticed that there has been increased in the number of HIV donors because of the screening of CLIA. Previously, it was done by IC ticket method and uh, the number of reactive donors was less. And after the installation of CLIA, uh, the number of screened uh, donors for HIV got increased. Now talking about the technological advances, a computerized software for blood bank operation has been implemented in the regional blood center for the routine working of blood bank. This is the main picture of our uh, blood bank software. This blood bank software is actually partially functional. Uh, currently, we are performing uh, donor entries and recipient entries and uh, screening and the issuance uh, by this uh, software and the stock management is done manually. The regional blood center is also equipped with the state-of-the-art machinery for the processing of blood and the regional blood center has the capacity to produce all the blood components. Uh, this is the annual data of the blood components for the past few years. Uh, by the upgradation of uh, the regional blood center and meetings with the clinicians of Mayo Hospital Lahore, as you can see, uh, the percentages of component preparations got increased from 2021 and moving forward. Uh, the hospital transfusion committee meetings and MSDA meetings were conducted for closing the gap between the clinicians and 
the blood bank. The regional blood center also conducts plated apheresis procedure without any charges. The mega unit kits required for these procedures are supplied by Institute of Blood Transfusion Services, Punjab. This is the data of plated apheresis procedure performed in the past few years. Now talking about the challenges uh, for ensuring the smooth functioning of regional blood center, it comes with several challenges. Some of the challenges that we are facing include uh, the highest priority is inadequate human resource. The current staffing levels are considerably very low which is impacting the overall operational efficiency. Uh, the second one is the limited technologist activity. Only the technicians are working in regional blood centers. The lack of technologies, it is potentially hindering the quality and the scope of blood related services. The other challenge we are facing is the lack of space. The adequate space is crucial for various aspects of blood centers including storage, processing, testing and administrative functions. This is our main reception of the blood bank. Here uh, we do enter the data of the donors and the patients and also blood grouping is performed in this area. This is our main donation room where uh, the donors donate their blood for the patients. This is the main central room of our blood bank. As you can see, uh, all the activities performing here, just like that, the components are prepared also here. And this is the storage where we store the uh, inventory management. And this is the clay machine which is placed in this room. And also uh, the plated apheresis uh, procedures are also done in this room. As you can see, we have only this room for working all the uh, activities of the blood bank here. And the other challenge we are facing is the recruitment of voluntarily donors. Currently, the donations are usually directed donors, uh, which means the donation of blood and its components is used for the for the purpose of specific individuals. The other problem we are facing is the security issue. And because of its public relations, the regional blood center does not have security measures in place. There are no designated guards to specifically watch over the regional blood center. Now, talking about the way forward, there must be the recruitment of human resource and competent technologists must be hired for the transfusion services. Secondly, uh, hiring of blood donor rec recruiters must be done. The blood donor recruiters are dedicated professionals which encourage the individuals to become voluntarily blood donors. Uh, the other thing that we need uh, for regional blood center is the separate building. Uh, construction of separate building facility for regional blood center is crucial as it enables us to fully meet the requirements of the regional blood center in a comprehensive manner. The other thing is we need the uh, provision of HR for transportation for the transport of proper transport of the blood from the satellite units to regional blood center. Now, to, uh, the other thing in way forward is to establish a public awareness campaign to clear up the myths and to educate the public about the importance of voluntary blood donations and create the feeling of social obligation. Now, the other thing we are facing, uh, the other thing in way forward is to provide the security to allocate the guards for regional blood center, which is fundamental in ensuring the safety and security of this facility. Thank you so much. If you have any questions. Yes, lowest I can't you know reconcile with that uh, data that you have presented because what we are saying is uh, numbers even from center and north and south did is it that you are doing uh, pre-donation screening with ICT and then taking it to Klaya? No ma'am uh, previously in the past few years in 2018 and 1920 we were doing just on ICT matter and it was uh, pre-donation and now we are also doing on pre-donation screening because uh, we take the sample of the patient and then we perform CLIA and after that we bleed the donors. So you are doing pre-donation CLIA screening? Yes ma'am, yes, ma we are also doing this. Even still I don't know how is it possible because that low level of infection either, I mean that, that raises question on the sensitivity of the you know assay whatever. 
No, ma'am, actually, it is the percentage. Yes. Yes. Puri country over Jana, I'm a point two percent Milra HIV or C. Ma'am, it's because. आपने निकाल दिया है और उसके बाद खिलाया किया है जी अच्छा इसमें चलें वो तो समझते हैं ऑल्सो इज दैट ऑल्सो इज अ साइंस थिंग वो तो हम योर ओवर दैट के इतनी पुअर सेंसिटिविटी की किट्स थी कि यू हैव गिवन लॉट मेनी यू नो इंफेक्शन अब आप क्लाया पे आ गए हैं इफ दिस 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 नीड्स टू बी रिकंसाइल्ड सम अदर आइदर इसको देखिए जाके क्योंकि मेरा नहीं ख्याल के इवन द जो हमारे लोग स्क्रीनड आउट टू वीड आउट ओके एफआईटी का डाटा है वो भी इससे डिफरेंट है उन्होंने नहीं प्रेजेंट उसमें नहीं किया था उन्होंने वो प्रेजेंट उसमें लेकिन उन्होंने परसेंटेजेस में नहीं लिखा था तो आई कुड नॉट एक्चुअली कन्वर्ट इन परसेंटेजेस अच्छा ये मैम एक्चुअली परसेंटेज वाइज है और दीज आर द टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्क्रीनिंग व्हिच इज इन थाउजेंड्स तो व्हेन आई कन्वर्टेड इन परसेंटेज हां परसेंटेज में बता रहा है ना कंपैरिजन करना है तो चले इसको आप when you need to look into that all right ji usko time dete hain for the screening uh, ma'am we just give about 1 hour for the screening of this and after that we bleed and do the other thing ji ji sir ji ji no sir uh, we are working as upgraded blood bank uh, only we are doing screening of emergency blood bank there are two blood banks in my hospital emergency blood bank jo uski screening jo hai wo hum idhar yahan pe karte hain i mean you are only covering in your hospital ji my hospital yes thank you thank you sir i have always stressed that there is another important component of blood transfusion center and that is to educate our physicians as to how to use blood and another as far as the hospital the transfusion centers are concerned the concept of hemovigilance has to come in so are you going in that direction or uh, you just sticking to being a blood bank drawing blood and issuing blood yes, you have you done hemovigilance yes sir yes sir we have got data of the present nahi kiya सर वो वी आर डूइंग कितना क्रॉस मैच हुआ कितना चलो बट दिस इज समथिंग यू शुड डू जी सर थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर इमरान शाहिद नेक्स्ट आई इनवाइट डॉक्टर नान अहमद खान टू शेयर हिज एक्सपीरियंस एंड द चैलेंजेस फेस्ड व्हाइल वर्किंग एज अ ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन ऑफिसर एट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन लाहौर बिस्मिल्लाह अरहमान रहीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम आई एम डॉक्टर नान अहमद खान ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन ऑफिसर इन आईबीटीएस Uh, current scenario actually in uh, IBTS, uh, which uh, shared by the Dr. Imran Dr. Hina in uh, the service delivery uh, to the public sector. Actually, 28 centers, uh, 28 centers uh, uh, in the uh, Punjab region, uh, which are the actually uh, teaching hospitals. Uh, teaching hospitals and the IBTS uh, is providing the uh, services to the 28 teaching hospitals. and the regulation body in punjab is actually punjab transfusion plus uh, transfusion authority so the current uh, distribution of uh, blood units uh, 28 uh, blood units attached with the institute of blood transfusion services punjab which actually it is a uh, uh, i said already it is totally uh, government sector and uh, teaching hospitals of the punjab region and uh, almost 130 hospital blood units uh, with the thqs and dhqs 
in uh, public region uh, as well as uh, regional blood centers uh, uh, two regional blood centers which are already uh, outsourced to the indus hospitals and uh, uh, with the uh, punjab blood transfusion authority more than 300 actually uh, data can be confirmed by the uh, authority uh, and uh, registered with the uh, punjab blood authority 300 blood banks already registered so what are the functions of IBTS, uh, administration of uh, 28 blood banks working at all teaching hospitals of the province and uh, provision of the 0.75 million blood units to the patients and uh, providing uh, blood and other facilities to the thalassemia patients as well. Purchase of equipments, uh, disposables and consumables to be supplied to all field blood units. If we talk about the uh, previous history of uh, the IBTS, uh, uh, the all public blood banks were under administrative control of IBTS up to 2001 and 2 in the whole Punjab. Uh, from 2002 and 2017, 21 blood banks were administered and uh, by IBTS and all uh, DHQ and THQ hospitals uh, blood banks were placed under administrative control of district governments. RBC Multan and RBC Bahapur were outsourced in 2017. In 2017, seven teaching hospital blood banks were shifted to the IBTS. So, uh, number of uh, attached blood banks uh, is now 28 under IBTS strength. 70% of the countrywide yearly donations are collected in Punjab, and Punjab has an organized public sector blood transfusion system. Out of about 1 million yearly blood donations, 70% are collected, processed and supplied by the public sector blood units. These are the facilities uh, being provided by IBTS at teaching hospital blood banks and already uh, mentioned uh, by our colleagues. Uh, uh, the blood grouping and cross matching tube method and the storage of all components, FFE, pack cell and platelets and uh, component preparation, uh, apheresis of the platelets and as well as uh, uh, CLIA technique, uh, chemical emissions at eight sites of the overall uh, teaching hospital blood banks. So workload in the uh, 2022 uh, donations collected by the IBTS Punjab, uh, 7,53,000 and uh, components prepared by IBTS, uh, 2,50,000 and number of blood bags supplied to the thalassemia patients about 85,000. In Faisalabad, uh, regional blood centers uh, have constructed and it is with the, by the German government uh, and, uh, but it is partially functional because at present the blood bank of the Allied Hospital is functioning at uh, RBC. And uh, RBC Faisalabad constructed and equipped by German government is awaiting proper functionalization. Mayo Hospital already discussed in detail and Lahore Law, General Hospital which is upgraded blood centers now and uh, it needs uh, or fulfilling the needs of Lahajan Hospital till now and all donations are by CLIA technique for B, C, H, I, V and C+. So uh, what are the ongoing projects? Uh, uh, the establishment of uh, more blood centers with attached blood banks and uh, upgradation of screening technique at all teaching hospital blood banks. So it is uh, the uh, data of uh, the CLIA uh, placement, IBTS actually purchased uh, through the uh, brand new equipments uh, for CLIA screening and uh, Roche Kavas E601 and it is installed and functional at uh, seven uh, blood units, uh, Mayo Hospital, Lahore General Hospital, Services, Jinnah, Holy Family, Sheikh Zayed and Sir Gangaram and uh, one is placed in the uh, Faisalabad. So if we talk about the uh, deficiencies at teaching hospital blood banks, uh, then of course uh, insufficient staff, improper space, non-maintenance of digital data, lack of awareness in users regarding blood transfusion, heavy workload due to irrational usage of blood and lack of coordination among different stakeholders. So if we talk about shortcomings as well, uh, fragmented system across the province like not committed HR and untrained and lack of coordination again between suppliers and users. 
the expected outcome of uh, the if uh, we talk about the uh, progress and the way forward then the provision of safe blood and blood products to all patients and a paradigm shift towards voluntary non remunerated regular blood donors obtained by an organized blood transfusion service the pathway leads towards provision for timely supply of safe healthy and sufficient blood and blood products downsizing irrational use of blood prevent bad side transfusion reactions and curtails transmission of transfusion transmissible disease thank you so thank you for the presentation my question is in any blood bank the obviously the equipment to space regions are important but the most important part is the trained manpower and you have shown in various slides that there is a lack of that so do you have an intention or a program for teaching and training of blood bank technologists because this is a very specialized field and the lab technologists which are trained from the mlg program they are not aware of how to perform the grouping cross matching etc which is required for the blood bank so do you have a training program for the ji madam usme is tarah hai ki abhi hamare paas actually technicians available hai aur abhi professor shabnam ne newly join kiya aur hum technologist ke liye हमारे पास 86 सिक्स हमने गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर को जो है वो लिख के भेजा वन थिंग सेकंड ये कि जो हमारा आईबीटीएस के अंदर हम जो है वो एवरी थ्री मंथ्स ट्रेनिंग सेशंस होते हैं मैडम जो हमारे एग्जिस्टिंग स्टाफ है उसकी जो ट्रेनिंग सेशंस हमारे उधर जो फोर टू फाइव हेमाटोलॉजिस्ट हमारे साथ अटैच हैं वो उस ट्रेनिंग को जो है ना कंडक्ट uh, करते हैं तो अभी तक तो ये मैडम हमारा जो है ना वो चल रहा है basically given this charge of director ibds additional charge for last 17 days so uh, even in my capacity as advisory uh, chair person of the advisory committee i came to know that there is acute shortage of trained hr for all the blood banks most of them they are ill equipped and the hr which is available and doing these sensitive procedures are actually the capacity of lab technicians lab attendant and even at places bearers and sweepers are doing the blood grouping and cross match this is a fact which i i am not very happy to i mean share with you but this is the baseline from which we are taking uh, this thing up and um, in an emergency uh, we have actually declared an emergency in ibts uh, for hiring of the staff as well train staff and also for uh, basically uh, arranging the different um the training sessions which are going to be conducted by the hematologist themselves uh, which are part and parcel of our committee now so this is going to happen really soon inshallah dr nam a nice presentation you haven't mentioned about the uh, your uh, contribution at the ibds कि वहाँ पे टी टी आई कितना रिस्ट्रिक्शन कितने अपडेट किए हैं आपने वहाँ क्या है आपका डाटा उन्होंने प्रीमियम नहीं किया हाँ सर एक्चुअली जो पूरे पंजाब की जो प्रेजेंटेशन है वो बिकॉज यू आर डूइंग देयर एस फ्री बॉटमीज देयर यू आर हैंड कंपोनेंट पे पेशेंट एंड यू आर ट्रांसफ्यूजिंग पेशेंट्स यू शुड हैव डाटा एट योर हेड क्वार्टर जी जी सर बिल्कुल डॉक्टर शबनम विल प्रेजेंट एक्चुअली विद द जो पूरे होल पंजाब में यू आर प्रेजेंटिंग योर डाटा दे आर हेड आई थिंक दिस इज फॉर द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान सोसाइटी ऑफ हिमेटोलॉजी फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम वी ऑल न्यू दैट देयर वाज गोइंग टू बी अ प्रॉब्लम इन व्हाट वी कॉल एलाइड हेल्थ ट्रेनिंग एंड ट्रेनिंग ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजीज नॉट ओनली इन ट्रांसफ्यूजन but in coagulation in, in blood banking etc and there is a body called the college of pathologists which was set up at one of the duties or tasks assigned to that was that they would train they would create some sort of allied health training programs but unfortunately that did not mature so at least as far as hematology is concerned i think the pakistan society of hematology would do a great service if they could organize there are centers available where you can send people to get trained it's just the question of utilizing them now okay and if they can somehow organize this allied health training within hematology in blood bank in coagulation in that that, that this would be a great step forward as far as hematology is concerned and eventually they can even start giving professional certification for uh, 
for, for, for these allied health people, which is not available in this country. Uh, they do want their masters, but there is no body. I tried a lot through PMDC to see if they could set up something equivalent to, to the nursing council or the allied health council. It is being set up. Yeah, because. Uh, but it will be it functional or is it? So I think ESH should work with it and and, and 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 because this is the next step forward. We have to do this. You know, we, we have to bring these people up and stop calling them technicians and call them technologists or, or scientific officers. Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, Professor Khashid's suggestions are well, we will be working on that. Uh, I just want to add that with the Indus Hospital Network with Dr. Saba, uh, I also work in National University of Medical Sciences. So about two, two, three years ago, we started an associate degree program for blood technologists. Uh, I would uh, request also Professor Shabnams to coordinate with Dr. Saba, and we can start the same program for Punjab. So these are matriculate students. It's for everyone, right? Uh, this, this is uh, intermediate. Huh? This is uh, you get fresh intermediates. You induct them into. This is a specific degree for associate degree, which uh, NUMS in collaboration with HEC has started with Indus Hospital, and it, the program is going very smoothly. And now we are converting this AD into BS technologists in blood transfusion specifically. So uh, this this would provide if you start in Punjab. Because we have already formulated that program and it is HEC recognized program. So I think there's Punjab, there is a room for much larger people to come into this program and then they will find adequate jobs also. So this is what we can contribute from the forum of NAMS and uh, I'll also, what suggestions Professor Sabha said will follow. Thank you, sir. Inshallah, we will coordinate. I, I, it just, you know, our concept of giving degrees is not applicable to allied health. If you look at the international this thing, there are some places which offer uh, degrees, but I think in, in the UK sense and USA, they have their own professional bodies. We have College of Physicians and Surgeons, and they give professional certification. Even the medical profession, CPSP is not a degree, you know, FCPS is a professional qualification. So we need to try and set up something where we get away from the universities and say the PSH has a body or now this allied health council has a body and uh, they will give a certificate after three or four years of training. Uh, the people, you can, uh, you, can, uh, you, you, you can mark something as an induction thing for BSc or inter science or whatever it is, but go for professional training because getting a university degree, getting a university to recognize your degree, satisfying a BS qualification, this thing is, is not something which is applicable to on the bench working. Uh, all these problems that have um, basically came across uh, for last seven or eight months, uh, most of our lab tech technicians, they are just metric. And they some of them, they can't even properly write their name. So the uh, dilemma is that we really can't use them and basically train them in the manner that is befitting. So the idea is that I've already submitted a, a, a SNE to the government to upgrade the seat, vacant seats of those lab technicians to lab technologists. We have to hire the right kind of persons, um, maybe with the degrees or we may train them with the help of vendors and uh, UHS and there are many other uh, training bodies which are available to us. So this is the plan that uh, gradually I have declared that a dying cadre in that document. We have to get rid of the vacant seats and upgrade them and then hire the appropriate HR for the blood banks across Punjab. Uh, see, it's better you have a letter as a president of PSH to Secretary Health we are doing this for the improvement of blood banks in, in, in the country. So you refer those cases from Punjab. It will help to the IBDS people to train at, at your. Uh, Actually, uh, a program of BS uh, in blood transfusion medicine has already started in, uh, with UHS. In fact, that program, uh, uh, the second or third year students are there now. 
but that program is facing the, some problems which I'll discuss. Uh, the, the, actually, when we proposed that program, idea was that the students will be trained in well-recognized institutes. But now, uh, with the change of uh, administration and management in UHS, those students are not given the opportunity to go to the uh, uh, recognized good institute for training. And this is another problem. In fact, if we use that channel of training, we, we can uh, uh, at least uh, fulfill our deficiency to some, some extent. But uh, unfortunately, there are hurdles. How is possible you can run a program at a university level where you don't, don't have the facilities for the training? That's a, that's a dilemma in your program because you should start that program with collaboration of standard institutions where blood banking is established. Because UHS is the problem, again, I have discussed with the Vice Chancellor, because you don't have the labs there, you don't have the attached hospital there, you don't have the blood banks there. So how it's possible you train a doctors or medical technologists or scientists without hospital, without blood banking, without labs? That was never in your program. But, but, that, but that, should be, that should be a proper MOU sign and it should be proper structured training in the different institutions. It is not possible to have the degree program at University of Health Sciences without hospital, without blood bank, without uh, labs. This is a dilemma of the UHS. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Adnan, for your presentation. It triggered a very thought-provoking and interesting discussion which I'm sure it's going to be fruitful. Next, I would like to invite Professor Sabah Jamal, who is a well-known name in the country with reference to transfusion medicine. She is the director of blood transfusion services at Institute, uh, sorry, Indus Hospital Network. Asalaamu Alaikum. Uh, thank you very much for the organizers to invite me. This is always an opportunity to share ideas and I think eventually blood transfusion is getting its due attention. Okay, this is just a short uh, how, where we are situated. It's a blood transfusion services that started with a single first centralized blood center of Pakistan in Karachi in 2013. And now we have four sites, three with the public private partnership, we are, and with attached 22 blood banks. Uh, we are serving about 7,825 uh, beds across Pakistan and large number, largest number are in the public sector. Okay, this is over the years uh, how we have uh, scaled up and last year we did about 216,000, this year we are expecting to Go around uh, 225,000 collections across the network in different sites. Uh, how many patients served from 2014 to 2022? About 3 uh, million patients have been served. Uh, last year it was about 713,000 patients that were served with different black components. Uh, when we entered into the public sector, um, basically, if we talk about this major change in German Development Bank ke investments in German government, before the blood banks which we took were not really blood banks. They were like, uh, uh, <laughs> transfusion for transfusion blood, so the patient came. Actually, in Mishtar mein, this or Bhabal Victoria, mein, actually this was happening request a patisi slip pe likhi thi donor laya gaya usko litaya gaya draw kiya gaya slide pe group hua pehle uh, unit nikal ke hath mein donor hi ke de diya wo gaya usne ja ke uh, reverse flow karke apne device pe uh, testing ki slide cross match kiya and blood fresh from the fruit farm Garam garam, 15 minutes, mein, uske hath mein diya, aur le le. 
तो जब दी एंटर्ड एंड द प्रो वाइस चांसलर वाज देयर ये ब्रिटिश पेज लेकिन होम ग्रोन वो हैं सर्जन एंड ही सेड कि एक्चुअली हमारे पास एंड निश्चित इज अ मेजर ट्रॉमा सेंटर हंड्रेड बेडेड ईआर विद द होल टावर ऑफ ओटी थिएटर्स फॉर ईआर इट बेसिकली क्लोजर बलूचिस्तान एंड पूरा साउथ से जितना ट्रॉमा आता है वो वहाँ आता है उनका अगर आप लेबर रूम देखें तो लेबर रूम इज लाइक अ सिटी इन सेल्फ गेटिंग कॉम्प्लिकेशंस फ्रॉम व्हाट नॉट पल्सलेस बीपीलेस यंग फीमेल्स कमिंग एंड वी सेटल बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इंडिविजुअल एंड उन्होंने फिर हमें ये कहा कि कहाँ कहाँ तो वी हैव अ सेंटर इन साइड द लेबर रूम वी सेट के और क्योंकि बेन लेबर रूम इज बेन ब्लड बैंक इज क्लोज टू द ईयर विच इज राइटली सो बट दोनों के डिस्टेंस इज हाफ एन आवर्स वॉक तो वो पेशेंट्स की फैमिली आती हैं वो पल्सलेस बीपीलेस की वो ब्लड लेने के लिए अगर दौड़ती हैं तो कोई ब्लड होता नहीं था तो उनका कहना ये था कि मैंने कहा आप लोग इमरजेंसी में करते क्या है जब वो आती हैं इमरजेंसी कह लें कुछ नहीं करता हूँ कार्डियोथोरेसिक सर्जन कह रहा है अपने हाउस डॉक्टर को कहता हूँ हर वार्ड में जाओ भाग के बैग्स जो पड़े हुए हैं ब्लड उसके वार्ड के उसमें उनको दे दो और वहां से ब्लड उठाओ ये पेशेंट का सैंपल है इसका ग्रुप करो इसका ग्रुप करो और लेके आ जाओ दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट हैज इज हैपनिंग इन दीज बिग सेंटर्स तो कोई ब्लड अवेलेबल ही नहीं था कि जहां पे आपका कोई इन्वेंट्री नहीं है ना जब यू डोंट हैव द इन्वेंट्री तो व्हाट डू यू गिव इन एन इमरजेंसी तो इट्स अ लॉन्ग स्टोरी बट व्हाट वी डिड वाज देन पुट केयोस्क्स एंड इन दैट पब्लिक सेक्टर यकीन मानिए इट्स डूएबल निश्चर वाज अ हार्ड नट टू क्रैक बट इट्स डूएबल एंड इवन विद द स्ट्रांगेस्ट पॉसिबल वाईडीए इट्स डूएबल और उसमें पेशेंट की फैमिली को ब्लड नहीं दिया जाता हमारा डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर जाके कोल्ड चेन मेंटेन करके डॉक्टर के हाथ में देकर आता है मगर अब उसमें फायदा क्या हुआ है वी हैव रियली सेव्ड स्पेशली जब आपके पास यूनिट्स मौजूद हैं वी आर यू आर इन द राइट लोकेशन तो जो इमरजेंसी रिलीज का इंटरनेशनल कॉन्सेप्ट है ऑफ ओ नेगेटिव रेड सेल्स दैट वॉज इनकलकेटेड और उनसे डॉक्टर से बाद में साइन लिया जाता है एंड दे वी मतलब उनका हॉस्पिटल ट्रांसफ्यूजन कमेटी में ये डिस्कशन होते हैं इट्स अ फुल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द क्लिनिशियन इफ इट्स अ लाइफ एंड डेथ सिचुएशन एंड दे डू गेट इन टू इट तो विद वेरी रिस्ट्रिक्टिव अगर आप ये देखें दिस इज मुल्तान एंड भालपुर मिश्तर एंड भावल विक्टोरिया एंड यू कैन सी द डिफरेंस इन द ट्रामा या इन द इमरजेंसीज दैट आर कमिंग इन द ब्लू इज ऑल निश्तर तो निश्तर इज रेली अ हॉट बैट ऑफ इमरजेंसीज एंड ये सारी वो लोग हैं दोज हु सेफ बिकॉज ऑफ द इमरजेंसी रिलीज एंड अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ इन्वेंट्री तो इनिशियली क्लिनिशियंस वर हैविंग अ बिग प्रॉब्लम कि आप कहते हैं कि दो घंटे में अरेंज होगा और वही ब्लड नहीं मिलेगा इन्वेंट्री में से मिलेगा बट दे इवेंचुअली अंडरस्टूड एंड दे न्यू कि इट्स नॉन नेगोशिएबल दिस विल हैपन अगेन वेन वी वेंट इन टू दिस इज एंड फ्रॉम भावल विक्टोरिया वी नेवर रियलाइज कि वहाँ पे एक इसलिए तो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स में भी नहीं था कि अंदर ही एक वो है थैलेसी में आ सकते इन साइड भावल विक्टोरिया विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ भावल विक्टोरिया एंड द सैड पार्क वॉज कि वो मदर्स वो भीख मांगा करती थी क्योंकि वेन वी व गोइंग इन फॉर हायरिंग एंड टेकिंग ओवर वो मुझे इसलिए पता है मुझसे उन्होंने भीख मांगी फॉर ब्लड and it's such a sad thing what kind of a country we are we living in ki a mother has to beg for blood for the child so then what we did was he said okay hum move in ho rahe hain ab bachcha saath saath chal raha hai us garmi mein dhool mittiyon mein to ke aap thalassemia center mein rahiye blood will be provided hamara banda aayega sample leke jayega every early basis and will the bring the blood back कोल्ड चेन मेंटेन आप वहीं पे उनको लगाइए एंड नो एंड वी इम्प्लीमेंटेड एलो एंटीबॉडी स्क्रीनिंग आईडी एंटीजन नेगेटिव यूनिट एक्सेट्रा एंड अगेन व्हेन यू सी हियर 
December was 6th December we started in 2017. First month me 600 units transfers way without donors. And you can see our, our success has become a failure now. The challenge is ke us pure region ke Raheem Yar Khan and beyond say when they get to know ke ji aram se blood available hai, timely mil jata hai, screen mil jata hai. So everybody has moved into that region. Ke wo blood ki hame shortages ho rahi hai with voluntary donations bhi. And this is the same escalation in Nishtar, the same in Jamshoro, same in Hyderabad, in Thatha. They, wo jo kehte na, loves joke, dar joke, thalassemia ke patient aane lagte hai, they become a challenge ke aap kahan se blood lai. Lekin at least with one big teaching hospital, if what we have seen is if you close the loop of pilferage, to hum empty bag wapis lete <laughs> कि वो पिलफ्रिज के लूप को क्लोज करने के लिए कि वो वहां से निकले ना और पहले से इशू नहीं करते ओटी में इशू नहीं होता ओटी के अंदर एक केयोस है हमारा कोल्ड चेन में रखा होता है फ्रिज में हमारा बंदा बैठा होता है इशू नहीं होता इफ यू नीडेड द सर्जंस एंड एनेस्थेटिस्ट अग्रीड हमने कहा आपके टावर में बैठे हुए हम व्हेन यू नीडेड वील इशू अदरवाइज वी वोंट कोल्ड चेन ब्रेक नहीं हो सकती तो इट्स डूएबल इन द public sector and the clinicians eventually understand and this is the same I'm just giving you a taste of it is a doable thing so in five years in just uh, Bhavel Victoria we have issued around 62,000 units as far as training is concerned uh, German Development Bank has funded a lot of trainings across Pakistan and these people were all brought to Karachi in our main training center and we have trained over around 30, more than 1,300 uh, individuals, which are a uh, big range, uh, collection, uh, staff, but all blood banking uh, between one, uh, one month to six weeks to eight weeks. And basically, we have boot camp chalate. So, we have a lot of And believe me, we have a lot of fear that the government sector is not going to be able to do it. We have to discipline it. And my thought to my team was, let's see. They want to learn. We allow the tech and 100% competency. With these, Hazahid uh, Mahmood of Gopa was very skeptical. You will carry a certificate for certain specs. Yeah, yeah, hai theory pe and hundred percent competency. Ye to kisi ki bhi nahi ka, chale, dekhte. Do you know out of all these, only three people were not given certificates? So no, ka tha, bada hangama hoga. Ka, no, when you talk to people in firm tone, koi hangama nahi hota. Now unke heads ne hangama kiya. We said no. Ye pass nahi hoye. We have worked with them. Bahut logon ke saath bahut zada work karna padta hai. Wo nahi hota extra classes, personal. A tutor to tutor bethake, so it happened. So, if three or four logo up they were taken out of the training, were unable to train, I feel that's not a bad deal. And like uh, General Salim said, we associate started an associate degree with program with the uh, National University of Medical Sciences. Uska reason ye tha ke hum across uh, provinces hain. Aur HEC ka rule ye hai ke agar aapko same degree program run karna hai across provinces you need it from a federal public sector uh, so we went in ke hame mujhe phir challenge indus mein kaha gaya tha kabhi bhi ami will not give the affiliation and said why not indus brings a lot to the table and i will thank dr general salim dhai saal ki hamari mehnat thi and i was going from approval ho gaya tha start nahi ho raha tha and he became the pro vice chancellor hame farishta mil gaya and we started. So that's where you come together. And really, I'm really thankful that or in his tenure, we discussed with him. I went to him, sat down, said, sir, we will do BS, but we will go We don't need such high qualified people all around. You need workhorses. You need staggered people. Then you need supervisors. So now we will associate degree to BS, not everybody will go. We'll have the screening of certain GPA after two years and then move them to BS program.
तो ये अगेन एंड इट्स अ वेल स्टैब्लिश प्रोग्राम अब वो बी एस के लिए मजीद एडजस्टमेंट हो रही है इनशाला अगले साल अनाउंस होगा Uh, we tried uh, ISO uh, one one uh, nine accreditation with the pu public sector, and all the four sites in um, Sindh have been accredited. Ab uh, hamari re revised accreditation bhi ho chuki hai. Is saal inshallah Punjab bhi ho jayega. Uh, Karachi se humne shuru kiya tha. Uh, Acha. Ye jo public sector ke RBCs nahi chal rahe. Har jagah mujhe ek sawal puchha jata hai. हर सेक्रेटरी हेल्प पूछता है हर प्रोविंस का सेक्रेटरी हेल्प पूछता है क्यों नहीं चल पाते दिस इज इफ गिव अस वन रीजन एंड आई दिस इज वन रीजन जो लोग भी पॉलिसी मेकर्स हैं या इन्फ्लुएंस में इज वी आर नॉट कनेक्टिंग द आरबीसी टू द हॉस्पिटल ब्लड बैंक आरबीसी इन अलोन आइसोलेशन इज नथिंग और वो सब यही प्रॉब्लम है पब्लिक प्राइवेट सेक्टर में जितने आरबीसीज गए हैं वो फंक्शनल अदर देन ऑल अदर कॉम्पिटेंसीज एक मेजर रीजन ये था कि वो वेल प्लान डे वन हॉस्पिटल ब्लड बैंक मेजर हॉस्पिटल्स को कनेक्ट किया गया जहां यूजर है और जहां फैक्ट्री है उसको साथ कनेक्ट किया गया एंड इसलिए वाई इज इट नेसेसरी दिस इज अब इन स्पोक मॉडल द हब इज द आर Regional blood center. If you do not have the spokes connected to it, ये how क्या कर सकता है? अच्छा हमने इसमें भी देखा कि while we are transitioning to centralized blood banking in Pakistan, एक यूरोप और अमेरिका और वेस्टर्न डेवलप्ड या ईरान जो भी डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज हैं उनका फंक्शन उनकी एक मॉडल है ये मॉडल है रीजनल ब्लड सेंटर में कंपैटिबिलिटी टेस्टिंग नहीं होती ट्रांसफ्यूजन नहीं होता आप पूरा यूनिट है ये फैक्ट्री है बना रही है और ट्रांसपोर्ट कर देते हैं टू हॉस्पिटल ब्लड बैंक्स और हॉस्पिटल ब्लड बैंक्स जो हैं उनमें ये सब नहीं होता यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्टोरेज एंड गो इनटू द डिलीवरी मोड बट व्हेन यू आर इन अ ट्रांजिशन मोड इस सब के लिए क्या जरूरी है हंड्रेड परसेंट वॉलेंट्री ब्लड डोनेशन एंड वी आर I don't think I'll see in my lifetime. I hope I leave, a, and we all leave a group of people who will see. वो एक अलग पूरी कहानी है, and we have been doing it for five years, and I have very strong opinions now after trying my best. ये इस वक्त we realized when we were going into, when we actually went into Punjab and were and had to, and what I have realized with life is कि जब आप नई चीज़ कर रहे होते हैं, you have to be very adaptable and rapidly adaptable. ये प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है ओके व्हाट्स द सॉल्यूशन एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम एंड वी फाउंड आउट ट्रांजिशन में ये चाहिए होगा आई विल बी डन इन टू मिनट्स और ये हमारे पास है हमें कलेक्शन अब जैसे निश्तर है ये निश्तर का मॉडल है हम कलेक्शन करते हैं और ब्लड चला जाता है वहां से एवरी थ्री आवर्स ये हमारा चॉइस नहीं थी वो डिस्टेंस में बनाया गया है एवरी थ्री आवर मूव होता है और कंपोनेंट प्रिपेरेशन होती है अदर देन और वहां सब ये काम हो के इट इज ट्रांसपोर्टेड बैक टू सॉरी निश्चर एंड इट्स तो हम उसको कहते हैं एच बी बी कलेक्शन हाउ डू यू डिफ्रेंशिएट एंड देन वेन वी बैंक इन टू हैदराबाद वी फेस अनदर प्रॉब्लम इट्स नॉट वेरी फार बट इट्स बैंक इन द सेंटर ऑफ ओल्ड हमारा यहाँ ख्याल ये था कि ये निश्चर की तरह चलाएंगे बट वी वेंट इन और जब मैं रश आर में गई तो वहां से तो बाजार से निकलने में घंटों लग जाते हैं बहुत दफा तो ब्लड वुड नॉट सस्टेन दैट देन वी सेड ओके नहीं अब इसको कुछ करना है तो देन वी क्रिएटेड मिनी आरबीसी कॉन्सेप्ट के पीटीआई स्क्रीनिंग सब सेंट्रलाइज होगी ये 12 घंटे 14 घंटे तो थट्टा भी मिनी आरबीसी की तरह चल रहा है एंड ऑल तो वो बारह घंटे में मूव होता है या चौबीस घंटे में इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डेटा ट्रांसफर होता है तो दिस इज फॉर आस एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम वी आर रियलाइज के ट्रांजिशन में फॉर द नेक्स्ट टेन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स दिस काइंड ऑफ मॉडल विल नीड टू बी रेप्लीकेटेड डिपेंडिंग ऑन द सर्कमस्टांस ये हमसे कोई दो ढाई साल पहले पंजाब हेल्थ सेक्रेटरीज एंड पंजाब मिनिस्टर ने काम करवाया कि अगर नहीं नहीं पूरे पंजाब को चेंज करना है तो बेसिकली वी डिड मैसिव गैप एनालिसिस मैसिव वर्क यू नीड एट रीजन इन पंजाब जिसमें से अगर आप देखें साउथ में तीन चाहिए भावलपुर और मुल्तान आरबीसी बना हुआ है ये सबको कनेक्ट कर देगा साउथ को इट्स प्रैक्टिकली डूएबल वी हैव डन द ग्राउंड वर्क 
सिर्फ आपको रहीम यार खान ने हॉस्पिटल के अंदर एक चाहिए क्योंकि राजनपुर इज टू फार अवे लॉजिस्टिक्स में एंड फैसलाबाद बन चुका है इफ यू सी द डार्क कलर इज द मेन साइट एंड द रेस्ट इज इस्लामाबाद एज पर आर कैलकुलेशन इस्लामाबाद को कनेक्ट कर सकता है इट्स अज बिल्डिंग a beautiful place it's a best possible gift that any government could give and it's sad it's not optimally no it's not functional wo pure sambat ko connect kar sakta hai wo puri rabal piddi is area ko do government sirf mou sign karke spare karke ye kar sakti hai inke budgets maujood hai we submitted the budgets working 7 8 months on this ये हमें उन्होंने फिर कहा साउथ पंजाब को मजीद डिटेल करें जो सर बात कर रहे थे डी आई खान एंड ऑल वी देन मेंटेन ये गूगल पे नहीं हुआ है दिस इज रोड ट्रेवल करके कहाँ रोड्स मौजूद हैं कहाँ चैलेंज है दिस इज ऑल ये आरबीसी मुल्तान में कनेक्ट हो सकता है मुल्तान मुजफ्फर खान डी आई खान लिहार लिया बिहारी खाने वाल बिलीव मी जो पंजाब के लोग हैं अब मुझे पंजाब का एक एक शहर पता है पहले कुछ नहीं पता होता था ये डेटा है दिस इज वेरीफाइड डेटा हमें सिंध मतलब प्राइमरी ये पी एस एच इज प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट शबनम और जो यहाँ लोकल है उनको पता होगा दिस इज स्पेशलाइज हेल्थ ये वहां का डेटा है एंड दिस वॉज देन आई वेरीफाइड डेट फ्रॉम द पंजाब ट्रांसफ्यूजन अथॉरिटी सेक्रेटरी एट दैट पॉइंट तो अगर आप देखें इस वक्त ये टोटल इन बेड्स आप देख रहे हैं थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड बेड्स हैं एंड हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सिक्स हॉस्पिटल है और ये मैं सिर्फ आपको ग्लैम्सिस दे रही हूँ दीज आर ह्यूज प्रेजेंटेशन ह्यूज डेटा ह्यूज बजट फेज आउट भी हुए हैं अगर आप देखिए ये एक्चुअली वेरीफाइड डेटा है टू मिलियन कलेक्शन है इस वक्त ब्लड की शॉर्टेज नहीं है इट इज बींग मिस यूज इट इज वेस्टेड आई फील and i think i have proof it is being sold in the private sector aur ye wo hai ki 15 hospitalon ka data available nahi tha so around 5000 beds ka data nahi hai to i feel punjab is round about 2 2.5 3 million agar ye sara network sahi ho lahore rbc would be the biggest jab maine lahore ka data dekha tha i was amazed लाहौर में इस वक्त मतलब ये दो ढाई साल पहले तो और बढ़ गया होगा साढ़े चार लाख यूनिट एक्चुअली गवर्नमेंट की डेटा में अवेलेबल है क्योंकि एंड द अमेजिंग थिंग वाज के शबनम स्पेशलाइज्ड हेल्थ केयर हैड नो आइडिया अबाउट द अब तो अली जान इज फॉर बोथ उस वक्त दो अलग थे तो आई वॉज सिटिंग विद दिस पर्सन एंड दोनों से डेटा लिया हुआ था सिंकुल से दे हैड नो आइडिया के प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी को नहीं पता था स्पेशलाइज क्या कर रहा है एंड बिलीव मी अगर आप लाहौर में एक मेजर बना के कर लेना हमने फिर कैलकुलेशन की इतना एक्सेस होगा ब्लड के आपके सारा इस वक्त प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी में ब्लड अवेलेबल नहीं है फीमेल्स आर डाइंग फॉर ऑन चाइल्ड बर्थ बिकॉज ऑफ नॉन अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ ब्लड ऑल दैट ब्लड विल बी एबल यू टू बी सप्लाइड टू सेकेंडरी हेल्थ केयर जहाँ मेटर्निटी केसेस हो रहे हैं and at very low cost aapko wahan sirf cross match karna hoga ye excess blood move karna hoga and this is what we gave to them ki dekhein this is a solution just go step by we phased it out 5 7 saal mein ye pura cover ho jayega punjab aapka and then unka ek ye and this is the last slide ek behas thi jo hamesha hoti hai and they were surprised by my answer they said kya matlab hai sare zindagi indus chalata rahega to i laughed and i said indus doesn't plan to do that and they were like kya matlab theek hai jab aap chhodenge to aapko hum koi staff nahi le jaane denge kuch nahi mein ka to hum leke kahan jayenge wo staff wo to wahan kaam karna hai humne kya karna hai char danna hai unka and he started they started laughing this maine kaha magar main aapko batau hum ek raat chhodenge na wo kaam karta hua next morning half your staff will not show up and they were like you are right so they said acha koi plan batao तो आई एक्चुअली गेव दैम दिस प्लान आई सेट अगर आप ये करते हैं तो यही हो सकता है सेट ओके यू गिव गिव अस इन फेज वाइज वी अपग्रेड थिंग्स वी क्रिएट अ नेटवर्क ऑफ सेफ ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन सर्विसेज वी क्रिएट अफेक्टिव सिस्टम्स प्रोसेसेस फॉर यू एंड 
build the jo busha keh rahi thi capacity building of the system and it's all about building processes and systems who are all of us jo private sector ya public sector mein bhi jinhone banaya it's all about building systems and then we said to them in the meantime aap us 5 saal saal mein aapko structural and legislative changes lane padenge uske bagair nahi hone wala ye aap hand over hoga taba ho jayega wapas and they were like okay kya hona chahiye so i said you change ibts to punjab blood transfusion service ye jo aapne kiya hua hai na primary secondary tertiary इस तरह नहीं होता दिस इज अ होल चेन आप सारे को उठाएं एक आप आईबीटीएस आपके पास एक छोटा मॉडल है इसको और बड़ा करें उसको आप पंजाब ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन सर्विस बनाएं और आप उसको इंडिपेंडेंट बॉडी बनाएं अंडर द इंडिपेंडेंट बोर्ड ऑफ गवर्नर्स फंडिंग गवर्नमेंट से आए और आपके पास उन्होंने कहा ऐसा कहा होता है मैं कहा मैं आपका स्टडी कर चुकी हूँ पंजाब आई बोर्ड इज अ क्लासिक एग्जाम्पल and that is the reason it's functional it's an independent body it gets all its funds but it doesn't work like the government and they were like okay they said you do this we'll write up all legislations for you get it done through your assemblies aap usko legislative or structural change kare it will take a few years or parallel mein kaam kare us punjab blood transfusion authority mein you should have a clinical wing नॉन क्लिनिकल विंग इस वक्त बहुत बड़ा मसला है वो डॉक्टरों को एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव काम करा रहे हैं वी सेड यूटेड नॉन क्लिनिकल विंग है वो अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ क्लिनिकल टीम होता है लेकिन अलग काम कर रहा होता है आप एक इंडिपेंडेंट क्वालिटी मॉनिटरिंग डायरेक्ट्रेट बनाए विच रिपोर्ट डायरेक्टली टू द बोर्ड इंडस में आर क्वालिटी टीम का जो जूनियर मोस्ट बंदा आरबीसी में बैठा है ना वो मुझे भी रिपोर्ट नहीं करता शबनीस को भी नहीं करता वो डायरेक्टली क्वालिटी मॉनिटरिंग डायरेक्टरेट की हेड को रिपोर्ट करता है बोर्ड एंड द सीईओ डायरेक्टली एंड इज इन ऑल बोर्ड मीटिंग्स उससे सवाल जवाब हो रहा होता है तो हमारा जो वहां हेड है वो आपको पता है सर कर्नल अली नदीन जामशोरो में क्यूए वाले को क्या कहते हैं हंस हंस के मैं पागल हो जाती हूँ ये आईएसआई वाले छोड़े में डॉक्टर सबा नहीं आते तो मैंने कहा मैंने नहीं छोड़े इंडस्ट्री ने छोड़े में दिस इज हाउ दे लाफ कि ये बैठे हम कुछ कर ही नहीं सकते इनकी तो रिपोर्टिंग ही अलग है इनकी तो एनुअल अप्रेजल ही अलग है यहाँ बैठे जासूसियां करते रहते बट इट इज अफेक्टिव बिलीव मी इट वर्क तो दिस इज वॉट पी टोल दैन क्या आप उसको करें एंड देन वी सेट आई और ये पंजाब आई बोर्ड में होता है ऑल स्टाफ मस्ट बी हायर्ड ऑन कॉन्ट्रेक्चुअल बेसिस कोई पक्की नौकरी नहीं होनी चाहिए जब पक्की नौकरी होती है फिर लोग काम नहीं करते हैं एंड आप वो बोर्ड ऑफ गवर्नर्स डिसाइड करें कॉन्ट्रेक्चुअल हो आप नो गवर्नमेंट परमानेंट एम्प्लॉज एंड यू एक्सटेंड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स ऑन केपीआईज प्रोडक्टिविटीज एफिशिएंसीज योर सफेज विल टेल यू जो काम करेगा उसको आगे मिलेगा आप प्रोविडेंट फंड कर दें बजाय पेंशन के इंडस में यही है वी डोंट गेट पेंशन बट वी है प्रोविडेंट फंड फॉर ऑल एम्प्लॉज तो दिस वॉज गिवन टू दैम एंड देवर लाइक एंड दिस इज डूएबल आप दोनों पैरल करें आप पंजाब को एक एग्जाम्पल बना दें देन द रेस्ट ऑफ द कंट्री विल फॉलो एंड एनी वेज आप सिक्सटी परसेंट को ठीक कर लेंगे बट आई फील यू नो बेटा ये वापस जाओ आई फुट इट John Lennon should not be here, but I like his. So, a dream you dream alone is a dream. Who actually is a fab? What is it? If all of us people sitting here, we dream it together, that is a reality. We need dreamers. Thank you. Uh, I have uh, a small comment. Uh, uh, first of all, we, we must appreciate all those uh, presenters. Who are the foot soldiers, uh, and it is very difficult in public se sector. Oh, very. Uh, so we must appreciate them. Uh, besides the pitfalls that they have, uh, I, I have a small query. If anyone could answer that, uh, this is uh, regarding the uh, repeat devaluation and the impact that it has on the transfusion services, especially at the district level. 
थैंक यू नहीं ये आप शबनम से पूछे किससे पूछे ये जो भी जिन्होंने प्रेजेंट किया ना आप उनसे जो पूछे उन विचारों वो परचेज कुछ नहीं करते तो नहीं मैं जो प्रेजेंटर्स हैं आप आपको यू आर नॉट प्रेजेंटर नहीं नहीं उनसे फिर उनसे पूछ शबनम इनको पता होगा ये डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल पे जो स्पेशली ये जो आप रुपये की डिवेल्यूएशन के बाद ट्रांसमिशन सर्विसेज को का को इंपैक्ट हुआ है उसका मैंने पूछा था क्या जो ट्रांसमिशन सर्विसेज हैं एट डिस्ट्रिक्ट के तहसील लेवल्स दे आर वेरी फ्रेगमेंटेड इवन मोस्ट ऑफ द टीएच हॉस्पिटल दो दे डोंट हैव द ब्लड बैंक एंड दिस डेटा रिप्रेजेंटेड इन द मीटिंग विद द हेल्थ सेक्रेटरी विद द मिनिस्टर मिनिस्टर हेल्थ पंजाब and data presented by the ibts at that time out of 137 thq hospital there only 36 hospitals are providing blood bank, blood banking service and you know that the main function of the thq is the trauma and gynecology services obstetric services and blood is needed for the trauma patient and the uh, obstetric patient unluckily uh, the 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 purchase part is at present is not with the ibds it's mainly the uh, the med, uh, the uh, medical superintendents of those hospitals and they are purchasing a very low quality ict kits and same with the blood bank and other ones there are very alarming situation it's already in the notice of the health secretary and the secretary minister health and other other higher officials Um, just a little comment, as uh, sir has already mentioned uh, about the difficulties in the purchase. There were a lot of difficulties because the LCs were closed, and at that time nothing was coming in the country. And with the fluctuation of the dollar, uh, the prices which uh, were quoted in the government sector, they were not giving those things at those co at that cost. And that is why the government uh, institution is not able to purchase it at the cost the vendor was saying. So there was a big gap in that. Uh, regarding blood bags regarding the kits and they were being arranged at a very difficult pace and for the district level the purchase of the primary is a separate thing the purchase of the tertiary care hospitals is going with ibts Uh, thank you, Dr. Sabha, for your amazing presentation and congratulations on all the good work which you are doing. We all uh, we all know, and that's really great work which you are doing. I think you deserve more than that, <laughs> but a little uh, appreciation. It's very tragic. It's just ten percent of everything, but uh, it's come to the point and it's doable. And I found people everywhere they want to work. Masla ye hai circumstances sahi nahi hai. So uh, my, my I have two questions regarding your presentation. One thing is one question is you showed that fifteen hospitals did not did not have. There's a lack of data in fifteen hospitals. So my question is, what is the reason for that? And the second question is that have you linked the you are collecting blood, right, and you are supplying to the hospitals? Have you linked it to the indicators that is there an actual need of that much blood in the hospitals, or are are they wasting it and they are they are overusing the blood transfusion without the requirement, or is there any guidelines these hospitals have for the transfusion of the Blood. So, what what are actually the indicators which are showing that this much blood? Because you showed two million units were arranged. So, is there an actual need for this much blood uh, by the hospitals? Are there any uh, indications, guideline indicators to show that this much blood is being consumed in the right for the right indications? Is my problem? What is it? We are very frustrated. Then we have Shabnis also understanding. These are islands. वेयर ब्लड इज अवेलेबल होता क्या जब उनको पता चलता है ना इवन अस्पताल में और क्लिनिशंस भी दिस अ लॉट ऑफ मिस यूज सारी जो पेरिफ्री का एरिया है ना जहाँ नहीं अवेलेबल वो सारा मूव इन होता है इन टू दो हॉस्पिटल जो जैसे ठट्ठा में जब नहीं था तो उनका उन्होंने जो हमें नंबर से हमें दिए थे तेस दिए थे देन इट इंक्रीज एन आई वॉज लाइक गो एन इन्वेस्टिगेट कि क्या हो रहा है वट हैपन्स इज गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल से भी डॉक्टर्स रेफर कर देते हैं वहाँ चले जाओ वहाँ अवेलेबल है वहाँ लगना शुरू हो जाता है दूसरा आई फील थोड़ी से प्रॉब्लम हम डॉक्टर्स के हैं प्राइवेट सेक्टर में वही डॉक्टर गवर्नमेंट में काम कर रहा है वही प्राइवेट में कर रहा है वो प्राइवेट में मरीज को देखता है वो वहाँ प्रोफेसर है 
वो वहां से उसको ब्लड चाहिए उसको प्राइवेट सेक्टर में वो कहता है जाओ मेरे वार्ड में एडमिट हो जाओ रात में सुबह ब्लड लगता है वी हैव नो वे ऑफ प्रूविंग वी हैव सर्कमस्टेंशियल एविडेंस हम इन्वेस्टिगेट कर रहे होते हैं ब्लड लग के वो शाम में वापस अपने अपने प्राइवेट अस्पताल ले जाता है तो इट्स अ मिक्सचर ऑफ थिंग्स हमने हॉस्पिटल ट्रांसफ्यूजन कमिटीज पंजाब में तो बहुत एक्टिवली हैं लेकिन दे आर नॉट टू द लेवल दैट वी वांट क्योंकि ये वाला अगर जब आप पूरे सिस्टम को ठीक कर लेते हैं ना तो फिर ये वाली जो ट्रांसफर है ना वो खत्म हो जाती है इस वक्त तो मसला ये ना आप कहीं पानी खत्म कर दें चारों तरफ और एक सेंटर में पानी दे दें वॉट विल हैपन द इंटायर पॉपुलेशन विल मूव टूवर्ड्स दैट वॉटर जी but we are running short of time we are running short of time so we'll take a quick uh, concluding remark from our chair admin hazur bismillah ar rahman ar rahim um i think it was a very uh, important useful and eye opening and it's very good that we are uh, concentrated so much on what the problems are uh, regarding public sector and that's where the most of the action is taking place and that needs to get its acts together i am extremely hopeful that after uh, dr shabnam has taken over uh, the things are going to change here on our behalf or as a professional we should be talking creating dialogue advocacy all those things doing it seriously and uh, i have been urging again again all my colleagues look into the policy policy has addressed all those things i am extremely grateful those who have uh, given me input especially dr saba and her team and we have try to talk of all the things that are important but as our professionals the most important thing jo wahan pe usme maine dali hai wo ye hai ki aap acche logon ko ikattha karke advisory mein le aaye aur national level pe ho aur provinces ki representation ho aur coordination aur communication ho aur hum koshish kar sake ki jo key issue hai hamara political will ka governance ka aur resources ka usko kisi tarike se hum address kar sake it comes down to the same thing so unless we professionals sare engage kare sustainably engage kare to i think uh, cheeze us tarah se change nahi hongi although a lot has changed and i think isme bada player jo hai wo definitely hamare wo log hain jo public private partnership mein aaye hain aur usme iske alawa i think industry ka bahut bada role hai ye jo abhi point ki hai ki kyun hum again it stems from political will ki aap अगर इंपोर्ट कर रहे हैं तो 10 साल बाद प्लांट तो लगा लीजिए ना लाइफ सेविंग मेडिसिन का और अभी भी मैं ये समझती हूँ कि इट्स नॉट अ बिग डील बट क्यों नहीं हम कर पाते बिकॉज इंडस्ट्री नहीं उसमें पार्टिसिपेट कर रही हम उनके साथ भी एडवोकेसी करें उनको भी एडवाइज करें उनको हमारे से हेल्प जो रिक्वायर्ड है उसको करें जब तक आप सेल्फ सफिशेंसी में नहीं जाएंगे कॉस्ट ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस नहीं कम करेंगे आपके रिसोर्स जो हैं वो मैनेज नहीं होंगे तो आई एम होपफुल के जी ये अगर मेरी फिर दरख्वास्त है कि आप उस पॉलिसी को पढ़िए क्रिटिकली पढ़िए उसमें अगर कोई चीज़ मिस हो गई है तो उसको देखिए हम सारे एक्सपर्ट इकट्ठे होके अपनी जो काम है हमारा उसको करें थैंक यू वेरी मच एवरीवन सारे स्पीकर्स एंड द पार्टिसिपेंट्स हु गेव द लॉट ऑफ इनपुट थैंक यू Okay, now we we'll quickly move on to the distribution of shields and certificates, and for that I would invite Professor Dr. Kursheed to the stage. I think people sitting here, perhaps I'm the senior most here, should in a way congratulate themselves also that we we have come up to this extent that we are discussing this topic today. There are people who are interested in this field, and you have the good will to do things. Things will happen. it will happen as long as you keep striving at it i remember 1984 when i first came into this country there was nothing you know fatpet husseini that's it okay and now look at the evolution so we are evolving and congratulate yourself on that fact that you are evolving it is in your hands to to take it forward Okay, so we have shields for our presenters. Dr. Hena was. Okay, is Dr. Imran Shahid?
ڈاکٹر عدنان احمد پروفیسر صبا جمال Sir Jaren Saleem, can you please join us for the stage because we have shields for our chair and co-chair as well. Okay. Okay, so we have a shield for our co-chair, Brigadier Asad Abbasi. Our chairperson, Madam Nuzat Salamat. And there's one for me for the moderation, Dr. Asma. Now please all uh, proceed for the tea break and we'll be back at 11 sharp for the next session. Thank you.